I like to talk about coping with change and coping with a, a new direction in your life that God has opening up. I spent a lot of my early life um, in the farming community and I was a rural contractor and uh, looking after uh, erecting fences, shearing and various things like that in the country. That's all actually I knew since I left school. And somebody came along and took photos of my children. And uh, when they came back to show us the proofs and sell us on the photos, uh, he was a Christian and this guy called Jake, he said, Roy, he said, the Lord has told me I'm to train you to be a photographer. And uh, this was so, I like photography, all right, and I, I used to take photos, so, you know, as a hobby, but but to suddenly give away my contracting business and turn around and, uh, and go into this photography, which meant uh, was, was totally foreign to me, and, and I'd already committed myself anyway to certain farmers to do work, and, uh, and so I said, no, this, this can't happen. It was interesting in the Bible, there gives an illustration that as an eagle stirs its nest, uh, to prepare the little ones to fly so the Lord makes uh, so what she does she takes all the soft down out of the nest and the little babies you know they get their little bums pricked and before long they get sick of that and, and uh, they get up and fly because it's so uncomfortable to stay where they are and the same thing happened with me in as much as the uh, my back started to play up and the end result was uh, I really had no choice but to go and uh, and, uh, and try this photography. In fact, what actually happened was I was going down to see a chiropractor who, to fix my back and on my way going down into Geelong, I very strongly felt I should go to ask a pastor, go to a pastor and ask him to pray for my back, which I did. Um, and. Uh, Anyway, then I started out on this photography, not really, not really too keen about it all. And I asked the guy, I said, well, what do I do? He said, just go and knock on doors and just say you're in, a, in the area taking photos of all the children. And uh, this is what we do. It doesn't cost you anything. We bring the proofs back to you. And if you like them, you can order from us. If not, well, you can even throw them at us, you know. And that was the type of thing. And I, so I just took off and and started to knock on doors and um, and from that day I was quite successful and Jake, a guy called Jacob Vandekoop, he trained me to do this and as a result of it a whole new realm opened up to me. About two years later I received a call to go into ministry it was in Cairns in North Queensland but one thing they didn't have in Cairns was sheep. But what they did have a lot of was children. And so the church that I took over was able to provide for us as a house, but they weren't financial enough to provide a wage. And so I was able to take photos of children and this was provided for my family whilst I was able to start to establish myself in ministry. So the Lord does stir our nest at times and sometimes God can open up a whole new realm for us and it's better to accept that and to move out by faith and to see what God will do with it. God is faithful.